Okay, so after a little bit more looking around and figuring out what's wrong with the printer, uh, I think I figured it out. So before the filament ran directly from the extruder all the way up to this reel, um, and that was causing kind of like a spring effect. Uh, I just looked at it for a little bit, where the it would kind of cause tension to go in the filament spool, like the filament line, and it would lift the extruder up and down, which kind of caused the layers to make like triangles, so it would be really thick, and then it would slowly get thinner, and then the reel would pull and it would be thick to thinner. So what I did is I got some PTFE tube, ran it along the arm, and then have it connect uh, to the filament spool, so I'm hoping that will kind of get rid of uh, some of that up and down movement caused by the filament spool. Oh, this is the first print of it. So I also switched to Kira from Prusa Slicer, and I've been getting uh, a lot better prints there. So I'll probably, once this is done, uh, show you how it comes off the print bed. Uh, and then. Okay, so I just pulled the print off of the. I just pulled the print off of the print bed, as you can tell, and the quality on this is absolutely astounding compared to the quality that I've that I had on previous prints. So if you look at that, I mean, for a printer this size and taking up this format, I am super super proud of this. So there's a slight little bit of ringing there, as you can see, but overall, like the quality, like. Just doing that little change, put it changing from like a direct feed to a inverse Bowden feed. It just the quality is pretty crazy. So I'm gonna I'm just super happy with this. Probably gonna do a few more test prints, but overall I am really thrilled about how this came out, to be completely honest. I never ex I actually never really expected the printer to be able to print something of this quality, let alone print alone. So, <clears throat> I'm super happy. It's, it's near flawless in my books. Like, the only flaw is like that slight little bit of ringing, but I could probably get rid of that with some acceleration tuning. But, and even like, at the scales, it doesn't matter. That little bit of ringing doesn't even matter, but I'm just super